Hello and welcome. I'm your friendly database developer with 15 years of experience, and today I'm here to guide you on an exciting journey into the world of my SQL database design. Are you ready to level up your database skills? Hit that like button and let's dive right in. Let's start by understanding the building blocks of a database. Picture your favorite library. Tables are like bookshelves. Fields are the different sections on those shelves and records are the books themselves. And just like every book has unique content, each field has a specific data type. Now, imagine you could organize your library in the most efficient way possible. That's where normalization comes in. Normalization is the magic wand that helps us reduce redundancy and maintain data integrity. There are different levels of organization called normal forms, and each one ensures your database is optimized and healthy. Primary and foreign keys. Every book in our library has a unique identification number, right? That's exactly what primary keys do for our records. They ensure that each record in a table can be uniquely identified. But what if we want to link two bookshelves, like fiction and their authors? We use foreign keys. These are special fields that maintain relationships between tables, making sure our data is consistent and interconnected. Entity relationship modeling. Now that we know the building blocks, let's bring them all together with entity relationship modeling. ER modeling is like creating a blueprint of our library before we start organizing. We'll draw entities, attributes, and relationships to visualize our entire database design. Let me show you how it's done. Here's a real life example of an online bookstore where we have entities like books, authors, and publishers, and how they're all related. Let's see how we can create ERD for the bookshop database. I assume that you already have my SQL and my SQL Workbench installed on your computer. Step 1. Open my SQL Workbench. Step 2. Click on the models on the left-hand side, as shown in the video. Step 3. Rename the default schema and add a diagram, as shown in the video. Step 4. Add tables. The same process for all the tables. With our blueprint ready, it's time to dive into my SQL, a powerful and popular open source relational database management system. Let's create tables, define primary and foreign keys, and implement normalization in my SQL. All of the scripts are posted in a GitHub repository, and a link to it will be in the description of the video. The same script can be used to follow along.
Congratulations! You've just taken your first steps into the world of my SQL database design. As you practice and explore more advanced concepts, you'll become a true database wizard. Want to learn more? Check out the resources in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Your support helps us create more amazing content for you. Thank you for watching and happy designing.